What's up everybody, my name is Rick Dunn and I am a full sales student. I'm currently in the media communications program and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about VEM. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get right into it. Um, basically, this video um, kind of touches on a little bit of the things that I learned during the last month in the VEM course. And uh, I'm gonna go into some of the do's and don'ts and things that did work for me and things that didn't work for me. Uh, you know, we're gonna talk about some networking, some research, um, the visual, uh, arts and media industry give you a little uh, look into uh, what I thought of the course basically all right so here we go all right so when you're in the VEM course you're gonna do a lot of networking networking is very important so I'm gonna talk about things that I feel like did work when it came to my networking uh, this uh, month and things that did not work when it came to my networking so first things first things that did work or do work I feel for networking uh, basically I'm the type of person I like to go up and talk to people, shake hands, say hello, introduce myself, business cards, and the other way I feel networking works is when you show people what you're capable of before you even open your mouth and do anything else. Just show them what you can do. Um, when they see what you're capable of, that speaks with volumes. All right. Um, this month, uh, I reached out to a couple of people. Uh, I reached out to Philip DeFranco, Casey Neistat, as well as Unbox Therapy. Um, these are three main uh, major sites on YouTube. Um, three people that I look up to, they do uh, what I would like to do. Um, and I reached out to all three of them. Unfortunately, I didn't get hit back by any of them, but I will be reaching out to them again. Uh, so as far as any contact or you know any advice that they might have given me, they, I didn't get any advice from them literally, but I've gotten lots of uh, tips from them just by watching what they do and the things that they don't do. You know, um, so as far as what didn't work for me, um, you know, again, you know, um, I, I think one of the things that you shouldn't do is uh, you shouldn't care too much about what other people think. You should try and do what works best for you. Um, you should keep pushing as hard as you possibly can. You, you got to know what you want to do. You got to see the big goal. You got to see the big picture and, uh, and, and keep being ambitious, keep being versatile and keep moving forward no matter what. When it comes to VEM class, you're going to do a lot of research. Uh, research is paramount to anything in Full Sail, to be quite honest with you. Um, so we did a lot of research this month. What I feel like was some of the best research that I uh, got to look into. Uh, negative impact was one of the things that uh, they threw at us uh, toward week three or the end of week three or beginning of week four. And um, that's something that I felt like was pretty awesome to have to deal with on the fly. You know, um, I like figuring out uh, puzzles and, and trying to get uh, find new ways to do things so you know having to deal with that at the last minute was pretty interesting for me to kind of find the best way to deal with it um, so that it made sense now as far as what I felt was the best research tool um, I've never used lynda.com until I started at Full Sail until I started in the VEM class and now that I've done that I love lynda.com um, lynda.com is one of the best sites that I've had a chance to work with it's a great tool um, it's it's awesome and the fact that we get to use it for school you know we get to do it for free through school is amazing it's a, it's an amazing tool I would suggest using lynda.com as much as you possibly can um, and uh, I mean I always love YouTube YouTube is great as well but lynda.com man I mean there's so much really cool stuff on there that you can learn just a couple extra hours a day here and there and you can really stack up on your knowledge and add to the, your utility belt which is the, the thing you want to do mostly now the discipline that I chose um, for this course I chose to do director slash producer um, would I continue to look in that discipline or to work in that discipline? Yeah, I definitely will, um, especially as producer. Uh, director is something that I'd love to learn more about, but I definitely feel like I'm good at the, uh, the goal or the, the role of producing and being in that seat. There's still a lot more I, I need to learn, but I feel like it works good for me, and I definitely will look forward to producing more. My goal in the end is to own my own media production company anyway, so I, I feel like learning more of the role of the producer and sitting in that seat um, is something that I need to do more of, and I feel like it works for me right now. So I definitely will be doing more in the production realm as a producer. All right, so you have three disciplines in the VEM course. Uh, you have your creative writing, you have your filmmaking, and you have your media communications. All right, now the creative writing basically 
is exactly what it says. It builds everything from the ground up, from concept, story, uh, anything script-wise. Uh, it helps plan out, you know, even from uh, storyboards. Um, creative writing helps build from the con concept and the idea and the script upwards. Filmmaking obviously shells out everything from the creative writing. After the writers are done, you're taking it into the production, the pre-production, um, um, into, into production basically. So anything that deals with the filming, anything that deals with media, as far as uh, recording, a director, um, you know, putting everything in visual format. Uh, media communications comes after, it's more po uh, post-production. Media communications will take the product that you've created and figure out how to shop it and your demographic. Um, you know, who, you know, where are you gonna shop it? Uh, what, what websites or what tools you're gonna use to promote this project after it's already been done? So these three pieces definitely come together and create one perfect whole. And uh, the more you know of each, the better you are. Uh, media communications is where I fit in. It's definitely like the Swiss Army knife of the media world right now. You kind of get a little bit of everything. So that's one of the reasons why I chose media communications. Now, when it comes to the way I will use these things, these three disciplines from the filming industry to the script writing industry to media communications to further my career, um, this, what you see right now, is usually where I'll do a lot of the filming for my YouTube site, my YouTube page, or one of my YouTube pages. Um, you know, I do film reviews on a channel called Nerdy TV. Um, from trailer reviews to film reviews, there's lots of different things that I'm trying to do right now and media communications as a whole is going to help me to figure out the best way to shop what I'm doing, um, the best demographic to look at, the best way to put things together so that I can become better at what I'm trying to achieve. So altogether these things are definitely going to help me to get better at my goal and that's one of the reasons why I'm here. So once again, my name is Rick Dunn. This has been your VEM review for Full Sail and the Media Communications Program. Um, keep a lookout for me on YouTube, <laughs> any media formats you could find. Um, I will definitely be around. Check me out at Full Sail, uh, the Full Sail lot. You know, I'll be around. Um, just keep your eyes open, man. You got to be ambitious. You got to be versatile. You got to hit it hard, and you got to move quick. Um, keep your eyes open. And, uh, you know, network. Networking is the biggest part of why I came to this school. And um, I think it's one of the biggest things I'm going to take away from this is uh, forming those bonds, meeting those people, and, and creating something awesome. So I look forward to seeing you guys around, and um, we'll talk soon.